Now, in this part, we are going to talk about models in Laravel. In the previous video, we have discussed this diagram. In here, we have said that the model is used to connect with our database. And whenever we want to fetch data or save data to our database, we will use the model. So, the model is the connection with our database. It is used to connect our database with our Laravel project in a state of writing pure SQL queries. We will use model eloquence to fetch or save data. Now let's go back to our project. And in here, let's create a new model. So let's open our terminal. And in here, let's type php artisan make model, then give it a name. So, for example, I want to create a student model. So, what will I type? I will type a student. Now, enter. Our model has been created. It's been saved inside our app folder, models, and a student model. In here, our model is created. We can also create controller migration also with our model. If you want to create a model with its controller and migration, you can do that also by just opening our terminal. Let's open the terminal in here. We will type php artisan make model. This time I'm going to create a model for the teacher. So I will type teachers or teacher any name that you want then space dash m for migration and c for controller now if i when i press the enter button it will automatically create the controller and the migration for the teacher as well as the for as well as the model so in here as you guys can see the teachers has been created if I open database, migrations, now another migration is created here with the name of teachers. And also if I open my HTTP in here and controllers in here, I have teachers controller as well. So if you want to just create a model, you will just type the name of the model. Try to make it singular. And if you want to create the migration you just have to type m it will create the migration and if you want to create the controller with this model you can also type c but if you want to create both of them you can type m c now let's add a column to our teachers table in here let's add a name table so let's type table that the type should be string and it should have name. Now let's run our migration so we can know how we can fetch our data. So let's type php artisan migrate. Okay, the migration is done. Let's refresh. Teachers is here. Now let's add some data. So A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. Now, let's see how we can fetch this data, this information in our Laravel using the model. So, let's go back here. Let's close these. Now, let's go to our route web.php. In here, let's create a new route. Let's delete all of them. We don't need them. Let's create a new route with the type of gate and let's name it teachers. And in here we will create a callback function. Then in here I will create or let's directly say return. Now we will have to call our teachers model. So in here I will type teachers enter colon colon all remember whenever you are calling your model you have to import your class in the top of the your 
routes. Normally, we don't directly call our model inside our route. We will call it inside our controller. So for now, just uh, remember that whenever you call any model, you have to import it in the top. VS Code will automatically add this, but if it does not, you have to add it manually. Now, let's open the terminal and serve our project by typing php artisan serve enter now let's go to this url and let's go to teachers enter now as you guys can see i got all my data id and name all of them are in here but normally what we will do instead of directly call, calling a model inside a route we will just create Let's comment this. We will go to the teacher's controller. Then from the controller, we will return the model. So like this, row, colon, colon, gig, teachers. Now we let's call teachers controller, colon, colon, class, then index. Now let's go to inside our teacher's controller and in here let's create a new function with the name of index and inside here we will return our teachers. So let's type teachers colon colon all. Okay, now as you guys can see in here I did not, VSCO did not automatically import it that, uh, Model class, so we have to type it here, or you can just retype this teachers like this and add this time it will bring it. So let's save, save this one also. Now let's go back, refresh. Now again, I got my data, all my data in here. 